Hello everybody, my name is Andy Cockgrave and this video is going to show you how to harvest tweets from Twitter in a quick and dirty way. Uh, it may be quick and dirty but it still enables you to do rich interactive dashboards such as the one we're looking at here. This dashboard comes from, is based on tweets at Tableau's Customer Conference in Barcelona. And we can look at original tweets over time and retweets over time. There's, we can see where exactly where the peaks were. So on Tuesday at 2 o'clock there were 112 tweets. There's interactivity built into this dashboard so we can see who was the most active tweeters at that time. We can see it was DGM 805, that's Dan Murray. He was the most prolific Twitter tweeter. Number three down was Matt Francis. I click there on Matt Francis and then the, uh, the third sheet on this dashboard updated and we get, we get to see all of Matt's tweets during that period. And then from there we can build in some URL actions to say, well look, here is Matt Francis, let's go and check him out on Twitter. That action opens up a new page in your browser and there is uh, Matt Francis himself tweeting all about all the stuff he tweets about. So how do we harvest this information? Well, if you're a DBA, if you're a web developer, you probably know all about JSON, XML, SQL, Hadoop, Amazon Web Services, and all those big, robust, professional databases. In which case, this tutorial isn't for you. If you don't know what some of those terms are, then this tutorial is for you, because this is a sort of a quick and dirty way of getting hot Twitter's tweets down from Twitter without having to know much about programming. So first of all, we're going to harvest some tweets. The first thing we need to do is download uh, a Python script that is going to pull the tweets from Twitter. You don't need to know too much about Python. We are going to have to install it. We'll come on to that in a minute. So the first thing you need to do is download, uh, is go to this uh, URL. Isaac is one of my colleagues in Tableau, and this is his uh, script that will pull tweets from Twitter and put them into a CSV. So go ahead, click the downloads, and then you will be good to go. The next thing you want to do is you will have to install Python. Don't be too intimidated by this. It's all quite straightforward. Uh, I certainly wasn't a Python. I haven't done any Python before doing this work, so it's all a bit new to me too. Download and install Python. Uh, and that will give you all the scripting things you need to do. So I've already downloaded Python onto this machine. I've already downloaded Isaac's tabs, so I'm kind of ready to go. So let's get rid of some of this stuff. Once you've downloaded your files and installed Python, these are the files you'll get. you get your script, a YAML file, which is where you define which tweets you want to search for, and a setup batch file, which it's very important you run this first because not only do you need to install Python, you need to install a couple more modules called EasyJSON and YAML. You don't need to know what they are, but the first time you run this, you got get to this uh, file view, run your setup batch file, and then uh, that will install those extra 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 modules that you need. So which queries are we going to search for? Well, let's edit the YAML file. This is just a text file, so you can do this in Notepad, you can do this in any text editor you want. I'm going to use um, Ultra Edit. And what I'm going to do is, is just talk you through the uh, YAML file. These three lines are the queries that I'm going to uh, search for. So I don't want to search for test. I'm going to search for Tableau and at Tableau. Right, there's one very important thing here. These must be lowercase. If, the, if you use any uppercase text in here, it won't work. So these have to be lowercase. The output file, this is the file you need to, that will be created. So just call, you can leave that as it is. You can then set a few configuration uh, things about how many pages of the Twitter search to go backwards, how many times it should go. But down at the bottom there's one very important thing. If you're in the US, then the US day format will be fine. But if you're not in the US, like me, 
the common air vent format light and use this one instead. This way, dates, whichever the locale you're in, will format correctly. So, just to recap, I have uncommented this line to use a, a European date format. I've commented this line here. And then let's go back up to the top. I've created a lowercase set of search query terms. So I'm going to go ahead and save that file now. So I'll just close this. Yes, I want to save it. And now we're ready to go. What we need to do, there's two ways we can run this file. Is uh, We can do it from a command line. So I'm going to open a command line. Easy way to get a command line up on a given folder is to go to the folder you want to open, press down the shift click key, right click, and use open command window here. And now we have a command window in the right put in exactly where we need it to be. Now we need to call that script file so we say well it's, we're going to call it we're going to call get tweets pi script and we need to input the yaml file that we specified so this is going to run the get tweet script and it's going to use the example query yaml file that we just edited to have the tableau queries in it and we click enter and off we go if I go back to the explorer window you can see I now have a test results file, that's the output I specified, and all the tweets we uh, are getting harvested into that. So let's go ahead and open this straight into Tableau. So here's Tableau, let's bring this into my window, and drag and drop my CSV into Tableau, and just Accept the default. I'm going to connect live. If you want this to go to Tableau Public or the text file gets really big, then obviously you're going to want to use an extract here. So there you are, we're connected to a set of tweets. How easy was that? And we didn't even need to know uh, what a JSON or YAML really even means. So we've got a bunch of fields, uh, these are all pretty useful. Well, they're all very useful. The first thing I do whenever I open a Tableau file is rename number of records to whatever the number of records represents. So I'm going to just call that tweet. Created at, this is the time and date field for when the tweet was created. So what I'm going to do is rename that to, to tweet date. In fact, let's call it tweet time. And I'm also going to change it to a date and time. So now we've got something we can use as date. So let's have a look at when our dates are. <coughs> do, 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 do. So we can see over the few days, last few days, we've had a whole bunch of tweets. There were 102 tweets on the 12th of June. The tweets themselves, this is the text field, but I think that's uh, more usable and memorable if you rename that to tweet. And the from user is the person who made the tweet. So I'm going to rename that as Twitter user. I'm not going to go into any more detail in this video about what the rest of the um, fields are. You can explore the geocoding and latitude, longitude, and stuff like that. Don't forget that you have one file which has all your queries. So if you're searching for some completely unrelated uh, search queries, then filter them out so you're just seeing the correct one. So we'll go with that. I often find it interesting to know, well, these are all the tweets, but which ones are retweets and which ones are original? So I have a fairly quick and dirty way of working that out, and I say, well, look, if the left, if what are the first two characters 
of the tweet. If they are equal to RT, then I'm going to say that's a retweet. <coughs> Might not be the most efficient, but it works pretty well for me. Notice this returns a boolean. And what I'll do is change, edit the aliases on those. So I'll say the non-retweets are original, and the true ones will call those the retweet. Just generally, whenever you're doing uh, sort of yes-no type calculations, it's always better to oops, let's edit that calculated field. It's always better to return a boolean and edit the aliases because that will is a lot faster in Tableau than saying if left r equals RT then retweet. So there we go, we've got uh, tweets over time broken down by day, or we can go down to the individual hour. Uh, it's not so good at that granular level, so we'll just stick it at the day. Then we can say, well, who are, who are the people tweeting? So let's bring Twitter user into play, and let's see the number of tweets that are being made. Do a one-click sort, and you see Mike Cristiani, number one. Uh, I'm number three at the moment. Uh, and there you go, so Mike Cristiani's done 40 tweets over the time period that we've got tweets for. What I like to do is put tweet on the level of detail shelf and also add colour to the add retweet to the colour shelf. This way we get uh, and then I'll change the border just so you can see the individual tweets. This way you get an idea of who's generating the most original content and also in your tool tips you actually get to see the tweets themselves. So I can see that Eleanor PD, that's Ellie Fields from Tableau, she's done quite a lot of tweeting. And I can actually go and see what those tweets were. So very quickly we've got our tweets by users sheet. So we've got tweets over time, tweets up by users. And we'll do one more sheet and we'll see what the actual tweets were themselves. So I'm going to put the tweets on this side, and I'm going to put them on the text shelf as well. You know, I do this, just we'll see why we do this in a minute, it will all become clear. I have to do a little bit of readjusting here. The tweet time, I'm, I'm going to, I want to get the, uh, sort this by days, the sending, so we get the most recent ones first, and then by user. Now we're getting tweets sorted by day and by user. I then actually hide the headers so that all that is visible on this sheet is the tweets themselves. Tweet. Let's recap what we've done. We have, well, if I let, let's go right back to the start. We in, installed Python. Then we extracted the zip that we downloaded from Isaac Obezo's uh, GitHub page. We edited the example query YAML so that we are going to search for the search terms we want. And in this case, it was Tableau <coughs> in lowercase, don't forget. We then went into the command line and ran a very simple command, get tweets with the example query YAML and that pulled down the, tweet, the tweets for Tableau, at Tableau, and hash Tableau. The instructions that accompany this video uh, also show how you can write this very simple uh, batch file to do this uh, process automatically, and it will keep expanding that text, test results CSV file so long as the batch file is running, and it doesn't take up many resources on the machine. So this is really good if you're at an event and you're trying to track the buzz throughout an event and uh, see what's going on. We open that file in Tableau, rename a couple of fields, change the uh, tweet time to a calendar, to a date field, and that enabled us to do tweets over time, tweets by users, and the actual tweets themselves. We can then bring that together into a dashboard, and in a very fast way, we're just dragging and dropping 
we can build up a dashboard which gives us a big picture of what's going on with Tableau related tweets um, over the last 10 days. And using Tableau's actions, we can very quickly say, okay, well look, I want to see who tweeted, who, who made those 39 tweets on the 18th of June. Or I could say, well, let's look at retweets. Who was retweeting at this period? Moving on from this very basic dashboard, we can go and look at the other fields we have, and you have the profile URL, you have all sorts of information about who the user is, what their, um, you know, what, what the location is, the geocoding. You've got lots of information you can do, use to really enhance these, this Twitter visualization and go to town and do all sorts of things. That's the end of uh, this tutorial for, for now. You know, I would recommend what you should do is download some of these other publicly available Twitter analysis dashboards to see the other calculations you can create, the other ideas about how you can analyze your, your, your tweets. And really have fun, you know. Twitter analysis is pretty interesting. It's good to see what people are saying. It's good to see when they're saying it. And using Python, it's really very simple. You don't need to be a DBA to do this. So with a bit, little bit of work, installing a couple of applications, following my instructions, you, can, you too can become a Twitter analyzer. And you can even do things like geocoding tweets. So here's CBIT geotag tweets from the CBIT event we went to back in May. You can see the tweets available all over the world, within the city of Hanover, and even the tweets down at the level of the exhibition halls themselves. So that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed that. If, uh, if you did, then please comment below. If you didn't, then also please comment below. But uh, keep in touch and let us know what other changes you'd like to see. Thanks very much.